we have minus a and times psi. So, and this is equal to 0. So, this would imply that m square is equal to 4 by ls square into n minus a written in terms of alpha prime this is and here so this is the uh, this is the relation for m square equals to this and actually we then generalize uh, A generalize the definition of A to A I am just using the result ok I am not deriving it uh, a priori that A uh, I mean this this relation could be generalized to generalized by replacing A by d minus 2 by 24 uh, which is d by 24 minus 2 uh, plus 2 into minus 1 by 12. So this is how uh, we would uh, we could generalize it. And actually would like to see this the proof of that yes uh, this is it, it seems to me point. because because actually the proof is really more uh, involved because a lot of rich physics is in, involved there and we can try to address it next April okay, okay. so in, in a way in a way we just make use of this this result so to say we we say that we now become aware of it we, we are not yet master of it, but we become aware of it that this has been used. So, how and why? Okay. So, this I think we would have to defer for the time being. And so, we. Uh, so, we have m square equals to. 2 by alpha prime into n minus uh, d minus 2 uh, by 2 and therefore I could write m square on this by And we have to remember that the the these states, like in 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 quantum mechanics, the states uh, annihilation, creation operators, and the number of operators, they did not carry momentum. But in field theory, they carry momentum. In string theory, also they carry momentum. Uh, but by what we mean by this, H that if we consider a state N K. And if you operate on this by P mu, we have it P mu and K. So P mu operating on this would apply to both open and closed strings. So uh, and actually then we would be able to construct the, the ground state and the first excited second excited higher energy states out of this that would be exactly uh, the way we do it in quantum mechanics or uh, scalar field theory so <coughs> uh, here now for the ground state n is equals to 0 and equals to 0, you have minus uh, 
or I can take this minus here. And also, actually, actually, setting little a equal to 1 implies b equal to 26 automatically. 26 minus 2 is 24 by 2, 24 by 24. But here we are interested in doing that this mass is square. So the, so the ground state is, is minus 2 by alpha star. You know, so it is a stationary state with a negative mass square. Uh, this is uh, what we uh, we have done in the open string theory. Okay, we would now try to do first. We will try to construct the first excited state of this, and how do we do this uh, to construct the uh, how do we construct the first excited state from here? Uh, so uh, you you construct the uh, I mean you will operate uh, let us say that is get I with alpha I one so this is so this is alpha I one dagger on this so you operate on the ground state by the creation operator buns to get the first excited state and so this is alpha i so this is the creation operator okay alpha i minus one this is the creation operator so this is the first excited state here i equal to 1 2 up to b minus 2 and you know in four dimensional electrodynamics in our four dimensional electrodynamics what happens your a mu has four components but a0 is time like and a3 is the longitudinal component so there are two transverse components a1 and a2 in the usual electrodynamics four dimensional electrodynamics there are two transverse components and here it is d minus 2 transverse component there also it is d minus 2 4 minus 2 is 2 you have two transverse components and here also so these are the transverse components okay so this actually is a vector state a mu is a vector particle is a vector state in in urban gauge field theory electrodynamics and here also this is a vector particle so the uh, the first excited state uh, 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 the first excited state with n equals to 1 would be your n square of alpha i this will be 2 over alpha prime. Now put n equal to 1. So this is 1 minus d minus 2 by 24 times your alpha i minus 1 and 0. And this would be your uh, so uh, 26 minus 2 is 24 by 24 is 1. So, so it is 0 times or or 0. So, it is a massless system. So the first excited state of the open string theory is a massless state and it is a vector particle it is a with d minus 2 as the number of transverse components okay d minus 2 as the number of transverse component and this 
could be identified with the photon <coughs> and we would like to do a similar thing for the closed string theory in the closed string theory we additionally have lm bar so <coughs> lm bar equal to 0 or l0 bar equal to 0 and <coughs> so we will have uh, for the left moving and right moving waves we will have two number operators n l and n r okay and for this uh, i think we can remove this So here, not only LM annihilates the physical states, LM bar also annihilates the physical states. That is the only difference from the closure. Okay. So for M greater than 0, we have LM of psi equal to 0, LM bar also on psi equal to 0 or psi ln psi equal to 0 equal to psi 